Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. Why are you not subscribed, girl? Why? Tell me why. In today's video, we are gonna be doing another full face makeup tutorial. I'm starting off a brand new series on my channel. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I've done one previously testing Primark makeup. I tested Poundland makeup. I tested a full face Huda Beauty makeup. And I'm telling you guys the best and worst from each brand. So for today's full face, we are testing Fenty Beauty! I feel like there's been so much hype around Fenty Beauty and I feel like the majority of it has been quite positive but there are definitely some products from there that I wouldn't recommend as much so I wanted to put everything in one video, test it all out with the primer, the foundation and the powder just to see how it all meshes on the skin. I'm gonna be telling you the good, the bad, the ugly, what is worth it, what is not worth it. I'm gonna be spilling all the tea in this video so if you guys wanna see how I created this look, my full on Fenty Beauty, then please keep watching. Now that's how you do an intro. Mmm, drop the mic. If you guys haven't noticed, I changed the white balance on my camera. I felt like my colour before was a little bit too yellowy, especially when I filmed with two people. So hopefully it's a bit more true to life, a bit more neutral. Okay, so I'm going to start off my full face Fenty with their primers. The texture almost feels like a thick-ish moisturiser that is quite matte. It definitely doesn't feel like super moisturising, but it does give the skin a bit of like slip. Okay, so it's foundation time. I'm gonna go with the Pro Filter 290 foundation. I feel like a lot of brands, they try to bring out loads of shades, but then the undertones are all weird. I really love the shade 290 because it has a bit of like an olive undertone in there. Okay, I'm gonna do a pump on my cheek. I actually really love the Fenty sponges. I feel like it has a good shape to it. It's really nice and soft and squishy. I definitely find though that since I've been using my Juno sponge, and when I go back to these regular kind of sponges, I just notice how much foundation it absorbs. I've done two pumps basically on my face, but I feel like it hasn't even covered my nose. So the sponge is definitely soaking up quite a bit of product. Not gonna lie guys, I haven't worn this foundation in a while and it definitely doesn't impress me like the first time that I used to wear it. I remember the first time I wore this foundation, I was like, wow, this is the most flawless foundation ever. I don't know if it's because I used the primer and the sponge as well. Like the coverage is good, but I've definitely had better coverage. Also, I find that the foundation dries quite quickly, so I don't have that much time to like blend it out. I am so tempted to go in with my other Giorgio Armani foundation because this foundation is like so matte. It's not giving me any like glow to my skin, you know. I've had to use about four pumps now on my skin, which is quite a lot of foundation. Okay, so I've let my foundation settle on my skin for about 10 minutes while I've been on my phone and I can definitely say that the foundation has oxidised a little bit. So just warning you, you know, if you test out this foundation, walk around a little bit before you confirm your actual colour. So now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Matchstick in this shade called Suede. If you guys have watched some of my older videos, you guys will know that I didn't really like this product. So we're going to retry it again. Is it a new shade? So maybe I'll like the colour more. God, it's not really a contour colour, is it? I remember I didn't really like this product because I felt it's quite hard. It's not creamy to play around with can you even see that on my nose okay i'm just gonna blend this out using the fenty highlight brush i have no idea why it's called the highlight brush because i wouldn't use this for highlight i don't think i actually really like the fenty brushes they're more synthetic so they're better for like skin products this is what i mean about the matchsticks i find when i blend it out it kind of takes off the foundation especially because this foundation kind of sets itself it's quite a matte foundation so when i'm trying to move such a stiff product on my skin it kind of ruins the foundation and it goes kind of blotchy. I feel like the matchstick definitely needs some more creaminess added to it because it's such a dry formula. Like I see all of this bit all breaking up on my cheeks. Okay, I'm going to try another matchstick. This is the first time I'm trying the shimmery one. This is in the shade called Yacht Life. Okay, I'm going to apply this on my cheeks. This is like the only blusher that they do, I think. So a creamy blusher is going to have to do for today. I'm not going to lie, I am not a fan of creamy blushes. I find that I powder my skin way too much to be wearing creamy blushes, you know. Normally they're not that pigmented or if anything they're too pigmented and then it just gets a bit clown cheekish, you know. Oh, and it looks so horrible on my pores. I don't know, guys. I'm not liking this base so far. It's actually looking so patchy. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in. So this is what it looks like close up. I feel like it's kind of exaggerating all of my pores here. Normally, 
this part for me is never really anything that I kind of focus on. Like, I don't feel like I have particularly large pores, but here, there are black dots everywhere, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. This is in the shade 210. I'm not gonna lie, guys, when this concealer first came out, I was like so excited for it. But when I actually tried it, I wasn't like wowed about it. I felt like the formula was a bit too thick and it definitely creases. It wasn't anything special. I didn't really like the colour. I tried out a few different colours and I couldn't find one that I was like, oh yeah, that's my colour. 210 is like the nicest colour for me, but it's not that yellow. It's a bit more like on a neutral side. I know the colour chart is meant to match to the foundation, but I felt like the concealer in the shade 290 was way too pinkish for the foundation. So yeah, I don't know what they was doing with that. Was they trying to make it look a bit more peachy? It's got underneath the eyes, but I don't like it peach underneath the eyes. So yeah, I just went for a completely different color. Hopefully this will make me feel a bit better about myself because my skin is not looking the greatest right now. And that's not making me happy. I am so tempted to use my Juno sponge at the moment. I feel like that's why I look so poory right now, because I haven't got my beloved Juno sponge. This sponge, because it has the foundation on it, it's kind of like the foundation's dried into it. So, I don't know, it's making my concealer go a little bit blotchy. I don't know if you guys can see, I feel like it's still a bit dark around here, even though I've applied on the same amount of concealer that I normally apply on. I don't feel like it's particularly covered up my darkness underneath my eyes. Okay guys, so everything's all blended out now and I guess it's time to set it. There's nothing else I can do about it. So I'm not gonna lie guys, this loose powder is the Pro Filter shade in Banana. I didn't like this the first time I used it. I thought I looked so cakey, my under eyes look so, so dry. Okay, so my friend Gary said I need to use the Laura Mercier Puff. He specifically said that this puff in particular is what works well. Oh my god, it feels really dry. I can feel it right underneath my eyes. My eyes are like shrinking. Okay, so I just set mainly on my T-zone and around my mouth where I get kind of like smile lines or where my foundation kind of gathers into. Oh my god, look at my top right now. I feel so dry underneath my eyes. I've never felt a powder do this before. I feel like everything's like shrinking into my little lines. So I feel like if I leave it for too long, I'm literally gonna have raisins as eyes. Can you guys see this? It's literally settled it right into that concealer crease. Okay, so I'm gonna bronze up my skin by using one of Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer. I actually really like these bronzers. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Shady Biz bronzer. I'm gonna put this on my forehead. So it just warms up just a little bit. I actually don't like my bronzers too dark. I feel like when it's too dark, it can look a bit stripy. But this bronzer's like really patchy now because of that matchstick. It's so annoying. Can anyone see how patchy this is? It's like patching McPatchens. Okay, so for highlights, I'm gonna go in this shade called Hustler Baby. I love it in the mini form. Oh yes, this highlighter is so nice. It is so pretty. Every time I stop using it, I go into another highlighter. And then when I come back to it, I'm like, why did I ever leave? Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows because Fenty doesn't have any eyebrow product and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I've just done my eyebrows, but I'm not gonna lie, my eyebrows are so bushy and I can't find my little scissors to trim all my brow hair. So the hairs are like here, it's going down here, it's a bit wild. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Moroccan Spice Palette. This palette, when it first came out, I thought, oh my god, it was so freaking pretty. I think it's quite old now, I don't even know if they sell it, but this is the only eyeshadow palette I have from them. The shade that catches my eye the most is actually this shade here. It's like this really nice blue. You know, it's like a nice like peacocky blue. Also, this shade is pretty as well. I like that. It has these kind of like glittery shades here, which is really nice. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this shade right here. Okay, so I'm putting this shade all over in the crease. Oh, this shade is a lot darker than I expected. It also has quite a lot of fallout as well. Like when I dip my brush in, it's kind of like kicking up dust everywhere. So you have to make sure you tap off the excess. This is the first time I've used Fenty eyeshadows and it's actually so nice because it's really, really soft. Like sometimes you can feel the formula when it's a bit more chunky. Okay, so I tried to blend out this brownish eyeshadow as much as I could. So we're going to go in with this blue shade right here. I'm just going to spritz this with Fix Plus just so that it kind of holds onto the pigment a bit more because the pigments look a bit loose. I love wearing blue eyeshadow. That's like my favorite shade to wear for brown eyes. I feel like it just really makes it pop. 
especially like this kind of shade of blue it's like a dark intense blue okay guys so i don't know if i'm liking this basically i feel like this blue is really hard to blend into the brown so on this eye i'm gonna use this shade here it's a bit of a deeper brown and i'm just gonna work this into the crease a bit more i feel like maybe this color here was a bit too light so if i put a bit of this in the crease hopefully when i put the blue on it will just blend up a bit better fingers crossed i'm also gonna try to put the blue on with my finger Oh, I like that. Oh, so I'm just gonna grab the brush. I'm gonna put some on the inner corners and just pat everything in. Okay, guys, so time for the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go in this dark brown shade here, which is such a pretty brown. It's like a really nice, like, neutrally brown. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. I'm just gonna buff this underneath the lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Glossier Color Slide Eyeliner. This is in a shade called black. Bitch, this is not black. This is brown. It's like a really, really dark brown. So I'm going to put this all over my bottom lash line. Just to give it a bit more intensification. Oh my god, this is so hard to blend out. This eyeshadow isn't gripping on. I'm trying to like pat this in to make it stick. Stick, bitch, stick. Okay, then on the inner corners, I'm going to do a little pop it, pop, pop. I'm going to go with this shade here. Oh yes. Oh yes. I need to lick my brush a little bit. Give it a bit of juice, you know. It's quite duochrome, I like it. Okay, so this could be where it all goes downhill. So I'm gonna go in with the Vivid Liquid Liner in the shade called Banana Blaze. I just thought it was just very different. I've never tried anything like a neon eyeliner before. Oh, that was quite pigmented. It's pigmented, but then once you kind of brush it out a little bit, it kind of goes a bit see-through. So it's a little bit runny. I feel like it's cracking already. Oh god, I got it all over my lashes. I feel like I'm some sort of Nike trainer at the moment. The colour is actually so pretty. I've never seen a liner like this before. Hopefully with the black liner underneath, it will look good. And I won't just look like some sneaker company. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the fly liner. I only have a little travel one because all my other ones dried out. I do have to say that they dry out really, really quickly. But it is one of my favourite liners when it's new and fresh. Oh my god. God, can you guys see this? It's cracking already. This is not good. It's got little cracks in here. I haven't even like blinked that much yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a regular liner. Guys, it's hard enough to do fucking one, your eyeliner while talking, two, just one liner in general, and then three, a double liner. Can you guys see all the crackling? It's cracking, bitch, it's cracking. Oh God, I shouldn't have filled it all in. What was I thinking? Oh my god, it's going on top of the yellow liner and it's making this dry up a little bit because it's so dry. Okay guys, so I've got my lashes on. These are Miami lashes from Lily Lashes, of course. So I'm just going to finish off this look with some lips because I look hella dead right now. I don't think Fenty has a lip liner. So I'm going to go in my MAC Spice lip liner. Good old trusty. Gonna lie our lips around the bottom. Okay, so lip wise, Fenty has so many amazing lip products. They have a lip scrub, which is really nice. They have a lip balm, which I love. They also have really nice pops of color. They even have like blue shades as well. My personal favorite is these liquid lipsticks right here. These are the Stunner Lip Paints, and this is in the shade called Unbutton. This is a really nice colour. I do wish that they brought one out a bit more nude than this because this is still quite like a peachy nude. I want one of maybe a little bit lighter that I can just put in the centre. I feel like this colour on paler skins, it will literally look quite orangey on you, more corally. This product in the original red shade is one of my favourite reds of all time. I feel like I need a little bit of gloss for this look. So I'm going to go in with one of my favourite products of all time from Fenty, which is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. It comes in three shades, which I hope they will be expanding. I need me a Trophy Wife Gloss Bomb, please. So the original Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow is such a nice colour. It literally goes with everyone's skin tone. They also brought out one called Diamond Milk which is like a light silvery kind of shade and then there's also one called fussy which i love and i literally can't find it i put it in a bag somewhere and now that bag's gone missing there's just something so special about this lip gloss 
it doesn't gloop all up in here and you know when you talk you get all those strings and stuff like that this lip gloss doesn't do that i wish fenty beauty came out with a setting spray okay guys so that's it for this full face of fenty beauty overall i do have to say that i really do love fenty they have such an amazing shade range they cater from the lightest all the way to the deeper skin tones which i have the biggest amount of respect for i felt like when they launched their brand it just came with a kapow you know 40 foundations i feel like foundation are one of the hardest things to conquer so the fact that they launched their first ever product with 40 foundation shades I remember it was just like <gasps> the whole nation was shook you know the whole world even was shook products that I really do recommend are the stunner lip paints of course I really really love their bronzers their eyeliner is amazing as well I also have to recommend the gloss bomb lip glosses like if you're looking for a super glossy lip gloss but you don't want it to be sticky and you just want it to last all day this is the product right here products that i would skip or i probably wouldn't recommend as much are the vivid eyeliners i know they come in loads and loads of shades but i tried them all on my hand and they all seem to crack as well i have noticed from all other brands that try to bring out colored eyeliners i don't know what it is about the formula it just seems to be super super hard for colored eyeliners not to crack if you guys know any brands that have done it really really well comment them down below because i love playing with fun colorful eyeliners i've also tried the one from nyx and even though it's a bit more affordable but they definitely do crack so these are more expensive and they still crack so i'll probably skip on these for me personally i'm not that huge of a fan of the matchsticks and the powder maybe i just haven't mastered the technique yet i found the matchstick to be really really dry and so it was the powder but let me know if i'm doing it wrong maybe i haven't got the right shade for me i've tried mocha before and i just felt like just blending it out it was just so so hard and i have so many other products that can do a very similar job so that's just a bit too much work girl but overall i really love how my makeup turned out i love the fact that fenty has also launched in boots as well before you could only buy Fenty Beauty from Harvey Nichols and it was such a pain that you have to go all the way up to Knightsbridge which no one ever goes there girl because that's where you have to drop some bags to be shopping there you know it's so expensive around Knightsbridge so the fact that now you can access it from Boots and the fact that Boots are just changing in general and they're bringing all the hottest and latest brands I'm just like yes I'm here for it you get your Boots advantage points you get some hay fever tablets while you're there it's great so if you guys haven't checked out my full face of Huda Beauty, go and check that out. I also do a very similar video where I test out all the products of Huda Beauty. I tell you the best and the worst from the brand. So I feel like these videos are super, super helpful. If there's any other brands that you guys want me to do a full face, comment them down below because I'm super up for testing like really expensive makeup or super inexpensive makeup. If you guys like this video, please give me a little thumbs up because it really does help me on the algorithm and it lets my videos be put on the suggestion box and you know, all that good stuff you know you scratch my back i scratch your back it's like a massage up in here so that's it for this video guys i'm gonna go and take this all off now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. hi guys welcome back to my channel oh what am i doing the intro about no makeup bitch <laughs> oh my god it's been a while since i filmed this whole youtube thing okay i'm gonna use the dat <laughs> datcha people are coughing dogs are barking dogs are walking what is this the river nile Oh, great. Yes? What are you filming, by the way? Full face Fenty. What are you going to do with your eyes? Fenty. Does Fenty have eyes? Can you just get out of here? Are you just, are you just here for the bloopers? Did you just see that? Does Fenty have eyes? Get out of here! Picking my nose off camera so you guys can't see. If there's any other brands you guys want me to see... Guys, last week I was so ill. I couldn't even tell you, like it was just so bad. I was in bed like shaking. I'm so hot, I'm so cold, I'm so hot, I'm so cold. That just needs to be a dance. So hot, so cold, so hot, so cold. Can someone tell you why there's a big old kernel right up in my tooth? I give up! Do you see that little pickle there? I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs>